Hello there guys and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be doing another damage breakdown, this time for the hatchet and pickaxe. If you haven't seen the most recent videos that I've done, they've also been done the exact same video for the F1 grenade and the Binkan grenade. Now I will leave a link to every video that I have done and the videos that come out after this one down in the description so that you can make sure you're completely up to date with all of my damage breakdowns. All of the values that I'm going to give you in this guide in terms of how many pickaxes and hatchets it takes are pretty much correct but they're just a ballpark figure so every time that you're using a hatchet and a pickaxe you'll hit that damage that you've done and then you'll probably do another couple of hits after that so bearing in mind that when you're going up and you some things are using like a hundred plus it's not going to be exactly a hundred plus because of the extra hits once you've used a hundred pickaxes and you've gotten an extra 200 hits off is going to drop down by a couple of uh, pickaxes and hatchets so I'm giving you the rough number but if you use as many as I say you will get exactly through that wall the way I would do this is I would take wood and I would take metal with you and I would craft hatchets and pickaxes as you go along so starting off now hatchets and pickaxes are both unlocked at level 11 and one hatchet or pickaxe will cost you 100 wood and 50 metal fragments and the approximate timings for each one to fully use is one minute for a hatchet and one minute and 30 seconds for a pickaxe i will go through the timings when i'm speaking in the video but they will not be displayed on screen for each and every building component and just remember that when i do tell you how long it will take you to get through whichever building component that is for one person. If you have two people, it will half it. If you have four people, it will be a quarter of the time I'm telling you. So just make sure that you uh, break down the times yourself if you're going to be using more than one person. Also bear in mind that everything that I'm showing you today is coming in from building components on their hard side. If you manage to get inside of somebody's base and you can exploit them having soft side walls or going up through the ceilings by hitting them on the soft side or breaking foundations from the soft side, you will get more damage. So just bear in mind that this is assuming that you're hitting all of these building components from the hard side. So first up we have our standard wooden building components. So there we have it guys, we have done 21 damage to a wooden building component out of the 250 health. That means we're going to need 12 pickaxes to get through this and 12 pickaxes will cost you 1200 wood and 600 metal fragments. And it will take you 12 minutes to get through this wall. Next up we have our standard stone building components. So there we have it guys, we have did 6 damage out of the 500 health to a stone building component. Now that will take us 84 pickaxes to get through that. Now that is 8,400 wood and 4,200 metal. And it would take us 2 hours and 6 minutes to get through there. Next up we have our standard sheet metal building components. So there we go guys, we have done 2 damage out of the 750 health on a sheet metal building component. That means it would take us 375 pickaxes to get through there. And 375 pickaxes would cost us 37,500 wood and 18,750 metal fragments. It would also take you 9 hours, 22 minutes and 30 seconds. Now for the last of the standard building components, we have our armoured building component. So we have managed to do 2 damage out of the 1000 health on an armoured building component. That means that we're going to need 500 pickaxes. And 500 pickaxes would cost us 50,000 wood and 25,000 metal fragments. And it would take us 12 hours and 30 minutes to get through a armoured building component. Okay, next we are moving on over to doors. Now, doors have exactly the same health and take exactly the same damage, regardless of whether they are a double door or a single door. So, I'll only be demonstrating this on one door of each kind. So, we'll be starting off here with the wood. So, we have managed to do 18 damage out of the 200 health on a wooden door. Now, that means we're going to need 12 hatchets to get through a wooden door. Now, 12 hatchets would cost us... 1,200 wood and 600 metal. 
It would also take 12 minutes to get through a wooden door. Okay, and next up we have sheet metal doors. Okay, so we have managed to do 3 damage out of the 250 health of the sheet metal door. Now that means we would need 84 hatchets to get through it. 84 hatchets would cost us 8,400 wood and 4,200 metal fragments. It would also take you 1 hour and 24 minutes to get through. Okay, now so for the last of the doors we have the armoured door. So we have managed to do 3 damage out of the 800 health of an armoured door. Now that means we would need 334 hatchets to get through. And 334 hatchets would cost us 33,400 wood and 16,700 metal fragments. It would also take us 5 hours and 34 minutes. Okay, so next up we have a ladder hatch. So we have managed to do 3 damage out of the 250 health of a ladder hatch. That means we're going to need 84 hatchets to get through here. And 84 hatchets would cost us 8,400 wood and 4,200 metal fragments. It would also take us 1 hour and 24 minutes. Okay, so next up we have the wooden external. Now... The wall and the gate are much like doors, they take exactly the same damage, they have exactly the same health, so we're only going to be testing this on the walls. Okay, so we have managed to do 21 damage out of the 600 health on a wooden external, so that means we would need 29 hatchets to get through. 29 hatchets would cost us 2,900 wood and 1,450 metal fragments. It would take us... 29 minutes to get through this wall okay and then for the last of our building components today we have the stone external wall so much like the wooden ones the gate and the uh, wall share the same health and take the same damage so we'll only be do it demonstrating this on the wall so there we go guys we have managed to do six damage out of the 750 health of the stone external that means we'd need 125 pickaxes to get through there. 125 pickaxes will cost us 12,500 wood and 6,250 metal fragments. It would also take us 3 hours, 7 minutes and 30 seconds to get through a stone external. So that is it from me today then guys. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please do hit that thumbs up button. And if you would like to see more content, then make sure you subscribe. This series will be continuing over the next week or so, so that we can test out some more things, get you all the information you need, and then at the end we're going to do a breakdown telling you exactly what is the best way to get through each of these building components. If you haven't seen the previous episodes or the episodes that come out after this one, there will be links down in the description linking to every single video once they've came out. And that is all guys, thank you very much. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.